Hello and welcome to Tradesim TV and welcome to the Cumbrian Coast and Furnished Railway Developer Diary number 9. In this latest instalment of the developer series for Cumbrian Coast we're going to see some new bits and pieces. We're going to talk to you along the way of what's happened in the recent months on the route. We're going to take you for a scenario drive as well while highlighting these new bits and pieces. The current scenes you see are some of the sections between Barrow and Carnforth. We will highlight these properly in a future video as there are still a few little bits and pieces to tie up on this section of route. So sit back and relax, enjoy the scenes and enjoy the video guys and again thank you very much for watching and joining us for this latest instalment. It's almost lunchtime and you are just approaching Carnforth working to Hotel 09. You work the service to Morecambe, calling at Carnforth, Lancaster and Morecambe. A short break will take place at Mor uh, Morecambe before working to Hotel 00 back as far as Carnforth, calling at all the above in reverse order. Right, so let's uh, get the cab going. Um, what we'll do is we'll just do one of the uh, sections of this work. So we're going to do two Hotel 09 up to Morecambe, rather than doing there and back, because it's literally going to be the same thing as you're going to see. So. Right, pause the game. Let's get that on. Let's get that into forward. Loose brakes. Instrument lights on. I'm sure it's all lights on, aren't we? There we go. Right, instantly we need to get the brakes on because we're coming down to the 10. So you join me here, obviously, coming into Carver. We're coming off the Bentham line. So it's the, the little bit that was actually included on West Coast Mail and over Shap. It's had a bit of an overhaul. Um, so what you'll see here um, is all new trackside clutter, a rework on the trees, as always. And a few new buildings, actually, to be fair, around Carver. Like this on the left, this new... Um, it's not a new building, but it's one of the JTCL ones. It's uh, an abandoned warehouse that was made for the Barrow Hill route. Um... It fits in perfectly because there's actually no abandoned building there, so why not? What you see on the right side is the uh, the route actually on West Coast over Shap was connected. Um, just pause the game a second here. Um, you'll see that the track bed's there, but the track's been severed. So West Coast over Shap had the actual route connected up. Um, everything here was all connected together and there was actually a triangle junction here. Um, but in today's world it is actually severed off as you can see here. And same again, um, you cannot actually access, um, uh, well, yeah you can, some of the tracks have been severed, I tell a lie, this bit is actually still connected, it's this bit here you can't use anymore, um, apologies for my phone if you heard that going off, that's just ping, let me just quickly mute that because otherwise that's going to uh, keep going off, there we go, right, yeah so that bit's uh, unusable anymore. Um, Planned probably will be to actually set the track to old and dirty uh, before release. Um, same over here, currently it's all set as clean, new, uh, so that will be changed. We will focus again on the, uh, the furnace route very soon, um, the line to Barrow. Still a little bit of work to do on that section. Um, not a lot either to be quite honest it's, it's really it really is nearly finished finally we are nearly a year late with the release but it's been for the good and the right reasons and I'm glad we held it back 
just so we could add everything in. But um, what's left to do basically is um, some trackside clutter from Grange over Sands to literally here to this junction. Um, and that's all the scenery then finished. Leftover jobs are um, route lighting, um, scenarios. There's a couple of custom assets, signal boxes, uh, currently one here on the right hand side, the other one in the west coast yard, Dalton Junction um, as well. So I think that's the only three that's left now. Um, there's a couple of little bits for Preston Station, there's a loft that I require and the rest of Barra Station. Barra Station has updated, um, you will see that in time. It has come a bit further, you may have seen it on the streams. Uh, will has done some textures now and it has added some more of the geometry to the building. Um, another build, another signal box actually that's uh, new, I'll show you in a second, the one we've just gone past on the left. So the uh, Voyager's gone flying through there. Had some issues as well with the signal around it, a massive thanks to Ash Clark, so a bit of a shout out there to Ash, uh, who helped out with that. Um, there were some signal scripts so that are a little bit, uh, little bit iffy, so they've been fixed up. Uh, they were in the JT side, but they've been sorted, so they'll come fixes with this route. Signals weren't showing up on the hood, basically, so it was like they were invisible. A bit of, bit of a worry, but they've been sorted now, thankfully, so it was good. It was on both ends of the platform as well. It was really bizarre. I thought it was a broken track at first, but it turned out it was just the the signals were showing up, I think, as um, false or something rather than true. So I think they were showing up as repeaters. Right, get the doors open. We have a, a little bit of a wait here, so I won't pause the game. I'll let it run. So, Carfer for itself, station wise, hasn't changed. Um, I will be changing these lamps to the newer ones, get rid of the naming on them. But uh, otherwise, yeah, the, the actual model itself is still kit bashed as it was on the West Coast over Sharp. Maybe one day, who knows, we may get a custom here. Not at the moment, sadly. There's been a few tweaks to it, though. Um, like some updated lofts, uh, some like fences and. These cool decals that Callum made for the OTSCL, um, which makes them look like a bit more like a cracked tarmac and that. But yeah, it's had a few bits and pieces. One of the cool things is this new uh, model. This is a signal box. So those that remember, on West Coast over Sharp, there was um, an old building here, which wasn't a signal box. It was just a building representing it. Um, I think it was one of the old AP station asset pack buildings. There's a pendo coming through there. Diary on, do it right, Anna. So I am going to pause it for a second because otherwise we are going to miss the signal. Um, yeah, so yeah, this has now been created. Now this is an old signal box. Uh, I'm not sure when it shut down. I'm not sure if it was like in the 70s or 80s. This this shut down. They they closed this and then they opened up um, the one over here. I think that's the actual store behind it. This is being created at the moment as a custom. It's actually a work in progress as I record this. Um, Chief Jack is um, working on that currently. Um, he has been involved with various bits and pieces on this route, bug finding, he's been doing the signage, um, all the signs you've seen on the most of the route, um, Callum did do some of the stuff on the, uh, the, the coming coast section, but um, on the furnace and the stuff up to Preston, uh, Jack did all these for us, uh, all, all through the stations. Um, he did some other cool ones, I'll show you in a second, in the uh, West Coast RC uh, yard, got these as well, these little cool ones. Just adds a little bit more to it, just a bit more realism. Um, rather than just leaving them out. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> other than updating bits and pieces, the station is it itself. Um, the yard itself, I'm not sure if I've shown this on videos. I've shown it on streams, but I'm going to go through it on the video. Um, basically, what happened here was um, the track was wrong, basically. The track was in the wrong locations. It was at the wrong gradient and everything like that. It didn't have all the yards in there. There was track missing. Um, Sean Gregory, um, SG Simulations, you may know him. Um, he's involved with various bits and pieces working on the East Coast Mainline backdated route at the moment um, we showed on the stream also he was obviously working on the Skegness route he very very kindly helped out with the track here and uh, put all that back together and got it correctly in place as it should be um, which gives it a better better layout for your operations and stuff in your scenarios and correctly at the right gradient because it was actually dropping down it was going downhill here and it, it had an embankment here which shouldn't have 
So that's now sorted. All new scenery inside the yard, as it should be, as close as we can get it with, with the assets that we've got. A um, couple of cool little additions uh, that Jack did were these uh, West Coast Railways advertisement boards. So there's this one here, um, which is a really, really cool little feature. So when you're coming through, you actually you see that as you come in. And the other one that Jack did as well is actually a notice, notable sign from this end of the platform is the old um, Steamtown Locomotives uh, shop sign, which was one of the ones that obviously they just painted black and then like white text over the brickwork. That's been made as a sign though, it just sits over the top, but it's really, really cool. It just adds that little bit more to the scene. And other than that, it's just a basic old kit bash building. Uh, Bradley Milligan worked on uh, a part of the shed as well, just to give it a bit more of an authentic look. It's been kit bashed at the back, um, but it's it's quite close enough. It's better than what was there originally. Uh, it just has a little bit more to it. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's coming along. Um, that is basically it in a nutshell. To be quite fair, for Carnforth. Um, also in today's uh, little drive is um, a feature of the very very cool all new updated um, one four three and one four four um, revamp pack for Major Wells. We're using the 144 uh, Northern variant. One of, uh, I think, five different logo types you can have. So we've gone with this one. So it's not got the actual Northern branding as such. It's got the Travel South Yorkshire and the Metro logo still on it, which is a really cool little feature. You can have li literally on and off different ones. You can have logos, you can have the Northern branding, you can have all sorts. It's really cool, uh, customizable. And a very nice job as well at that. And the livery. Uh, it's just a shame we haven't got the centre car, but not to worry, it's a good job that these did uh, run in two cars as well. So we've got the two car option. We'll go and pause the game. And um, we have got the road, so we're just waiting now for um, doors to shut in a, in a moment's time. Whilst we uh, wait for that, I'm just going to put the map on just so you guys uh, know what you're getting when the route does release. So obviously, Preston's down at the south end. Heading north through Lancaster, you've got Morecambe um, and Haysham on this side. Carnforth, where we are now, we came in off this little section here. Um, and then, of course, you've got the Cumbrian, uh, well, the Furnace Peninsula, first of all, which goes up to Barrow. All the way through here. You've then got the Avoider as well. Then you've got the run down to Barrow. You've also got the dock down here as well with scenery. Then you've got the Cumbrian coast that then head north. Ascombe, Kirby Furnace, Foxfield, Green Road, and as far as Millen for version 1. Giving you approximately about 75 miles of driving, which is about 2 hours drive time. So there is a lot involved with the, the first version. Mainly on this section is a close proximity revamp. It's, it's a revamp of the, the line side. There's foliage and all that sort of stuff, and a proper going over with clutter, which is one of the things... Now I'm gone a second, it's playing silly beggars, look. There's gonna be DRAs on the back back to front. I've got the DRA on me control, but it seems to be back to front on the uh on the train itself. <laughs> Bizarre. I don't actually know what the key is for it, so I'll have to have it actually on on my box, but off in the train. I should never have messed about. That's what I shouldn't have done. So yeah, what it does is um, you get all new trackside clutter. You've got all new cable trunking. There's tons of stuff. This route really was very basic in trackside clutter. If you look back at West Coast Mainline over Sharp, and then you look at this, you'll see that it's a total different world with the OHLE as well new track it just gives it a nice new lease of life so Lancaster's our next stop so what we'll do is it we'll go down to Lancaster change of ends and head down the uh, the Morecambe branch this is a scenario that does come with the route as well so you will get to play this uh, scenario wise we're not going for the full hog of 30 plus scenarios like we have done in the past we, we, we're simplifying it we're keeping it uh, short sweet and simple 
mainly because I don't want to kill myself right in the manual and also killing myself like obviously making scenarios and testing scenarios and if anything goes wrong it means there's more things to fix so we've decided to go quite easy gives you guys something to make and also we can also drop new scenarios as and when we require on the website uh, a single downloads put the FPS counter up as well um, currently we get about 40 which is very playable in my eyes there's not a problem with that It's had updated level crossings as well. You'll see a couple of those in a moment. It's using the new JT ones, uh, which came out in the uh, latest CL with Nottingham Lincoln. Uh, all new crossing padding and stuff like for the roads as well. Uh, just gives them a nice new lease uh, leaf of life as well. Also, want to apologise. I might sound a little bit bummed up. I've had a bit of a bad throat and that this last week. Um, getting through it. Not so bad now. Hence why a couple of my uh, recent videos, if you've been watching the Transim stuff, um, <laughs> they've not had commentary because I, have re I couldn't speak in the videos, it was just hard work. Let me show you the uh, level crossing there as well. You see it's got new, the new barriers and stuff, it's got all the new road um, models, like the goes over the road. Just a lot tidier than what they were. Got the sign as well that comes with them, so they've got the right signs. Again, yeah, it just gives it a nice new lease of life and uh, not the old crossings that were there originally on the West Coast main line over Shot Route, which is the, that was the aim. We wanted to update and make it look as new as we can in the constraints of time that we have. I mean, it, it obviously, as I say, the, the original route was going to release um, January this year. Didn't happen. We went back, we're going to do a lot, get the merge done, get all the scenery in, uh, what we need to do finish everything off that was unfinished on the merge stuff make it worthwhile really you're probably wondering when are we going to release it the answer is as soon as possible um, it, it, it really isn't far I, I, I don't like committing to things but I, I am working I don't know I, don't, I feel bad if, if we don't make it but I would love to have it out back end of this year which Realistically, is is doable. There's only a couple of bits left. It, the main thing is really hoping on Barrow Barrow Station. Um, that's the main one. The bit, the uh, the unknown at the moment. But we will uh, we'll wait and see. If it doesn't, it doesn't, and it'll be in the early early next year. I think everything will be done. It'll just be waiting on that station really. And that'll come when it comes. Just got to wait on Will, but Will's very busy at the moment. So we've gone past Hess Bank there as well. Uh, got one of the lines that goes off towards Morecambe there. But we're obviously going now to Lancaster first and do the change of ends and then come back. the speed down because yellows and uh, potential reds as well so got the new bypass over um, the main line here as well which was uh, a recent addition uh, IRL so it was missing off the route because obviously um, Overshot was based in the 80s, 90s sort of period. So we'll put that in, which looks really cool, just adds another feature to see.
fingers crossed there won't be many more Dev Diary videos now as well. I mean, this obviously we're getting towards the end, so fingers crossed. Um, who knows, we may have one more Dev Diary before release. Because I'd like to do something as a drive going down. If it more than a dev diary, if, it, if anything, it'll just be a general drive. But I want to do a drive down the actual main route, um, potentially with the 185 as well. So well, fingers crossed, we'll get that up as well, and we'll do something. We have got a scenario that actually does cover a run down there, so we'll probably end up using that. To be quite honest, that way you get to see the full, the full run. So we're going to be going to Lancaster Platform 2. So we do get held here for a service to come out of the station. Trackside cluttering as well in this uh, section it did take a while. Uh, it took a, about a month or two, but then as well there was a bit of a pausing work while we were doing the JT stuff. So obviously Just Trains, which is my day-to-day -day job, um, obviously takes priority over the, uh, the pleasure projects um, when we get to the busier period. So this did have like a two-month sit down and wait basically whilst uh, time allowed <clears throat> then we came back and got this straight literally ploughed it in just to get it done but it's quite interesting you look at the clutter as well in some areas it's quite sparse and it goes dead, like busy with bits and pieces and then it goes quiet again it's, it's quite varied I put my DRM, but it's all back to front. Perhaps what I can do because I know it's all back to front, so I just do the opposite. And the scenarios use the um, the newer Pendolino. They don't seem to really be uh, hurting the FPS too much, which is good. Slight updates to this bridge as well. Um, not loads of updates, but the main one being is uh, we've updated the girders underneath it just to give it a bit of a newer look. What was used on it was uh, it had this weird like 2D fencing inside which I just didn't want we've got rid of that put the, uh, the check rails inside rather than it was third rail check rail weird <laughs> originally that was what um, was used on the west coast over shot so we got rid of that and uh, put proper check rail in there as it should be Just arriving at the station, so a quick turn around here, and then we'll uh, head our way to Morecambe. So Jack um, did some modifications around Lancaster as well, um, just to enable uh, longer platforms correct platform stubby ends and stuff like that as well uh, he redid all the clutter around the station all new signs again just just brought it into a better standard than uh, than what it was originally I mean it's still the kit bash station unfortunately but um, at least it's got some better um, place clutter and stuff like that so for the time being at least it's, uh, it's a, it is a big improvement maybe one day again we could have a custom, who knows. Right, so the door's open. Right, in 
going to off there. Instrument lights need to be off. Again, yeah, it's had new signs. Updated platform uh, loss as well, so we've got uh, narrow ends and stuff like that. These ones as well. You get a, a feel for just what's been done in terms of the clutter, just like looking at scenes like that. There's all sorts that's been placed. I think it was something silly like on, on the original stuff like for the West Coast over shop stuff I think there was like two or three clutter items like junction box there was junction boxes and I think I don't even know if you had a, a cable trunking to be quite honest it was literally just like point motors and junction boxes that was literally a bit of uh, fencing that was about metal railings that was about it uh, if you haven't done already, please change ends. Make, uh, make sure you're on the way to more can provide you have the road set. Which we do. So, Bear Lane and then Morecambe. Uh, on this drive. <clears throat> Just little things like this. I mean, IRL, there's actually a bridge under here, but for what the area is, it'd be a lot of work to carve a bridge and model a whole like, bridge under it in kit bash form. Um, but what at least we have done is put the um, the metal sides there for the, like, the tops of the bridge and obviously in the middle here. So it at least gives you that sense of feeling that there is a bridge there. Um, again, it's one of them things that you probably would end up with the lights not even on it. Um, it'd be more than them things where you'd probably do a custom model and have it all included, um, rather than kit bashing and carving terrain out because it just end up being a right mess. But with the constraints of what we have and what we can do, at least it does something for the area. So a short burst um, speed to Bear Lane will be turned off, so we'll be slowing down shortly. And then it's a, a quick trundle down to Morecambe. So you can see what's been done down there as well. There's plenty to see, there's plenty of potential with the uh, scenario uh, stuff you can do with this. <clears throat> you've got obviously passenger services, loco hold services, you've got freight, there's rail tour, there's all sorts of test trains, there's loads of stuff you can do with this route. It's very, very versatile. Quite unique as well with obviously the fast train stuff. And again with the tours, there's all sorts that's been down there. There was one literally just recently, I think, came out of Barrow. It was the HST, um, it was the, the Blue Pullman that went to uh, Whitby. So that was the first HST that's ever been down there as well. So there's potential there. So slowing down to 25 for the junction.
I do love that roof texture that's been done to the top of these. Really smart. Just wish we were a proper um, pacer EP, a centered car, that's all we need now. So leaving the west coast uh, main line there. That one of the missing features was the uh, the spad signal. So there's a spad signal here that was never there originally. It's nice to have that in. I've not activated yet, believe it or not. I usually do stuff like that. Some bits to notice on this section, like you've got new fencing, so I've put some new fencing around the track. There's bits missing as well, so I've put the stuff that's missing in. New signal gantries, I've updated them as well, so I've got rid of the old horrible Kuju stuff. I've got the old style, which is in the JTCL. Uh, stuff that we use for uh, Southwest and Expressways, which were made for that, so they came in really useful for this, as you can see there. Just a nice model all around. Same again as well with uh, tracks like clutter, trunking, um, trees and stuff like that. Again, um, update level crossings and bits and pieces like that which you'll see in a second. This is Bear Lane as well. I'll uh, give, give you a quick look around here as well, some new bits and pieces. Uh, it's had a bit of a rework as this one. Quite a few changes to be fair. I'm just going to pause for a moment here. Um, one thing please do note is obviously the, the roads. When the, the route got merged in, um, I'm not sure what happened to be fair. I think something happened when the merge came in and that uh, like the links in some of the roads were a bit broken. Unfortunately, I'm not going to sit there and relay every single road on the West Coast over Shap route. So unfortunately, at the moment, we have to leave them as they are um, and just deal with it. As you see, they've got a free car um, merge up. Um, they may change. I might be able to update some in, in time. It would be quite a big job, so it'd be something I don't really want to do at this moment in time. But end of the day, it's a train sim, not a road sim. So I'm not overly fussed at this moment in time. Just to sort of live with it. Uh, new signs again. So some cool ones here. Got the Bentham line ones as well. Uh, specific to this line, she got them ones there with the uh, little sticker on as well. So those are all through. Stuff like you've got a new platform loss, so I've, I've swapped these over to West, uh, no sorry, Liverpool Manchester ones actually, is, yeah, use those ones. Um, but date and plates on stuff as well, just just to give you a little bit more, something to see uh, when you have an old mooch about, so you do see them as well with platforms. That's throughout the route as well. Um, these cool signs as well. Just uh, some of the cool bits and pieces that Jack's put together for us. I get a screenshot because I think that potentially will be the video thumbnail. I think again, update level crossings. They're just coming really, really nice as these uh, Lincoln ones. They actually fit perfectly, which I'm really happy with. <clears throat> just waiting for the uh, doors to shut, making sure that our buses go through our barriers. That's one upside is that nothing actually spawns in the middle of the track. Also, you'll note that the signal box isn't there anymore. That actually got knocked down, I think, in 2012, I think it was, something like that. So that isn't there anymore, so... We didn't actually have to have a, a custom made for that. <clears throat> Which I'm sure Callum would please with. I'll have to pester him for something. I 
I love the section of it, you get to do uh, both sides running. Some new fences put down this section as well, so the new palisade uh, added in. For what, I can't remember what it was originally, but... It's not, it's not, it's not missed the any of the rest of that. Another little cool feature is... Um, a couple of bridges along the whole of the route do have um, some of the telegraph pots and, and posts still actually there. No wires connected to them, of course, but it's really cool to still see that there's a few knocking about like that. So, just a bit of a, a nod to the past, and the old way of how things were. So I know it's only a short drive on this one, but um, it at least gives you an idea of what's been going on and, uh, and everything. Do as well, you will find it on, on the streams. We do root build quite a lot on there, so you will most likely find me doing something on the stream at some point in that uh, in that time. As we do get towards the end. Just be glad to get it released. Finally. That line comes in on the left, which is um, the Haitian section. So once you've arrived more, can be sure to change ends, ready for the 12.32 departure. We're not doing that departure, but that would be what the next part of the scenario is. on the bay platform. This had a little extension as well, a bit more trackity to it, it wasn't quite long enough. There'll be no excuse for me to crash. So yeah, same again, just have some new bits and pieces put here. Just a bit of an update. Just a bit of a refreshment really. With what can be done. Nothing really much in terms of buildings. I've up I have updated the uh, retail park. So it actually uses a decent model. But again, it is, it is refreshed and updated, new platform uh, lofts and stuff like that again. Better uh, clutter and scenery in the station itself to represent what it was. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I hope you've enjoyed just uh, another snippet of the Cumbrian Coast. Um, and a massive thanks for watching. Uh, do feel free to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell for future videos. Catch you on Twitch um, on Thursdays and Sundays, most normally weekly, unless something changes. I do, I do let you know on Facebook what, um, what the change will be. Um, you can catch us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash trainsim underscore TV. Do come along, come and say hello, come and join us um, for the carnage that usually happens. Um, there's always a laugh on there. Thank you very much again as always guys anyway, and uh, do leave your feedback as anything you've seen and, or any, anything you'd like to see or any... any feedback you can give up in general please do I'd like to hear from you take it easy thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video bye for now guys